Yeah. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's Tall Boy with Short Pants. Uh, I got another video for you from my cousin uh, Eric, and I'm gonna be drawing Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Okay, so I'm just gonna go straight into it. Um, you know, I always start out with my guys and everything—a little circle, kind of put the middle dot, the middle, the middle line faces where the character is gonna be looking at. And then I usually put the horizontal line that goes like this, which is where the character's eyes are going to be. So, um, yeah, try to place that as best you can. And then, really, that, that should, in my opinion, that always helped me out a lot more. And just to let you know, don't be afraid to erase. I can see this one kind of being a tricky drawing for some people because it kind of had me at first. And also, to, to let you know, uh, I, I was also discouraged when I was drawing this at first. When I first drew this, um, I wanted to throw it out when I first started. So you're going to be like, man, what is this guy talking about? It looks freaking amazing right now. But, you know, when you're in my head and it's, I'm drawing, you, uh, the drawing's not as fast. So, of course, you're not going to see the future. You know what I mean? I can't explain it as best I can, but, you know. Um, yeah, really take your time on this. Draw the lines out as smooth you can, and really just rewind this. Get all the point. Here I come, off. I'm coming, mom. Mom, come in. <laughs> okay. So, um, anyway, my shading take. Ah, see, I just missed half the tutorial. Uh, my shading tutorial, my shading technique, is quite simple. I draw line by line by line as close as I can. See how it looks choppy. But then, ooh, Lord, look at that. But once I went over it with the small blending stump, it looked amazing. It looks, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? So really, that's my technique from there. In my old videos, I used a bigger one, a bigger blending stump. And I realized when you use a smaller one, it's a lot better. A lot, I admit the process is a little slower, but you can get the accuracy you want a lot better. And take your time on these. If the lines aren't as smooth as you want, keep going. Do, don't stop. Seriously, you'll be surprised. A lot of people will be surprised how much better they will be if they just kept going. You don't even need this tutorial. This tutorial, this, uh, you don't even need this lecture here. But I'm here to kind of help you through this situation, help you through as you draw out Sora or any drawing that you watch. That's really the main purpose here. But believe it or not, watching these and you study these and rewind over and over again, you will draw a lot better, I'm telling you. So, um, please guys, if you ever draw any of my drawings, don't be afraid to put as a video response or send me a picture or anything. Add me on Facebook or something. I'll love to look at your drawings. No doubt. And shout out to my buddy Andre from Spring Hill Christian. He loves watching my drawings and everything. And uh, I'll have some footage of him talking of a little interview I have of him soon. Anyway, um, yeah, when you shade, notice how when I shaded, I always got like a layer like really dark, and then I shaded it really light underneath that dark, that dark layer I just put up, and then I just went over the blending stump, and it just layered it perfectly. It's like that with everything. It's, it's the same system. And uh, I went over that as dark as I could. If you get like a really dark color, sometimes you can shade around the dark, the dark color that you just put. And it will add a little layer by itself. See how I just did his little, um, his little shoulder plate. I just that little dark, the dark color right there. If I just went near that area, a little outside that area, it's hard to explain. But you should see it on how I drew it. It kind of automatically put a color in its own. And um, yeah, that's really it. That's re that's really the techniques that you guys need to know in drawing this. And oh, uh, almost forgot the cross, the not the cross, the little crown thing there. I was afraid of drawing that, to be honest, the chains and stuff. But um, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm telling you. As an, explore what you do. Explore drawing better. Don't be afraid to attempt something just because something looks, you know, in your opinion, really good or oh, I can't do this. Stay through with it. Keep going. You'll be. I surprised. I'm surprised. I'm even here teaching you guys how to draw. So really. My, my goal is to help you guys out, to help you guys become the best artists you can be, okay? So keep that in mind. Those are really my techniques. All I'm doing now is just going over the lines that I just drew, 
and uh, good luck with the drawing. I hope you guys do well. God bless y'all. Bye.